I'm Debbie McKenzie. I'm an associate professor in biological sciences at the University of Alberta. My lab is based in the Center for Prions and Protein Folding Disorders. My name is Judd Aiken. I'm a professor here at the Center for Protein Folding Diseases. We have some unique and exceptional facilities, a large amount of equipment that is very unique to work with prions. We are the largest prion research group in Canada. Working with infectious prions is not easy and we have the ability to work with these infectious agents here. We focus primarily on chronic wasting disease but have other studies looking at some of the human diseases, BSE for example. So within our biocontainment facilities, we're allowed to work with infectious prion agents, which we can't do on the regular lab benches. To work in prion containment, one needs to wear special PPE, so personal protective equipment. And so in this picture, uh, Maman has on the gown and the gloves that are required for working with infectious agent, and she is prepping infectious prion samples. So this is an NMR, Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Imaging Machine, and it can detect the metabolites that are present in the samples. Metabolites are small molecules. There is a growing literature of their importance. NMR is being used in this project to identify metabolites that are specific for chronic wasting disease. This is the only NMR machine in Canada inside of biocontainment for use with prions. The only place in Canada that this work can be done. So this is a PMCA machine. It's used for protein misfolding cyclic amplification. So this is just a way of taking a small amount of infectious prions and amplifying it through repeated rounds of sonication. The purpose there is to be able to detect the abnormal protein, the abnormal prion protein, which is not an easy task and PMCA provides a exceedingly high level uh, a sensitivity for detecting abnormal protein. So this is an autoclave. We have four autoclaves like this in the building. These are unique because they're pass-through autoclaves. So what they do is they sterilize, uh, decontaminate infectious agents. So you put the material in on the biocontainment side, run it at a high temperature for um, a long period of time. These are, in, in a sense, very unique autoclaves because they do run at higher than standard autoclave temperatures for longer than standard autoclave temperatures and the need for that is that prions are incredibly resistant to inactivation and so to sterilize a prion is a very different thing than to sterilize a bacteria for example and so we have to use autoclaves that will work at higher temperature for longer times. And then when the cycle is complete then you would empty it from the other side, from the clean side, and discard the materials. This is one very expensive piece of equipment, very unique for prion disease research, to have an electron microscope inside containment. And so one of the things that we do at the center is looking at and trying to determine the structure of the infectious prion agent. So Esther in this picture has been working on that for a number of years, trying to determine the molecular structure of the prion protein. The confocal microscope is a means of imaging cells. Um, it allows us to, to look at cells that are infected, you can interact the cells with compounds that fluoresce and then look for those particular compounds within the cells. And we use this a lot to look at where PRP is in cells and as we start to address questions about how do cells get infected, we can use the confocal microscope.